This is a highly political story, so we want to share our sources up front. We contacted the Fairfax County Police Department, the criminal justice reform nonprofit, The Innocence Project, Victoria Lasavita, Director of Communication for Attorney General Jason Miatis, and Steve Discano. It is an unprecedented attempt at a power grab. He's the Commonwealth's attorney for Fairfax County. I won my election to bring these reforms to Fairfax County. Attorney General Jason Miatis is working on a Republican legislation to allow police and sheriff departments to bypass their local prosecutor's office and look to the attorney general to handle the case instead. The attorney general has no authority to go through with the plan that he wants to implement. That's why he is trying to get the law changed. We contacted the AG's office. His spokesperson, Victoria Lasavita, sent us this statement. The attorney general wants to work with law enforcement officers and Commonwealth attorneys to ensure the Virginians have a backup plan and no victim's voice is silenced. Here is what A.G. Miata said back in November. And when prosecutors are making plea deals on child rape cases over the objection of the family, I have a serious problem with that. Miatis is talking about a 2019 case involving a 53-year-old man who admitted to repeatedly raping a young relative. Descano cut a plea deal that landed the man 17 years behind bars, even though the maximum charge called for life in prison. The victim's family is now fighting that plea deal. So what we're able to do is get a guaranteed outcome that keeps our community safe. And I think people like Attorney General Jason Yars, who know better or should know better, really play on the fact that people don't understand our criminal justice system. According to the Innocence Project, 97% of criminal trials nationwide end in plea deals. The Commonwealth's attorney says their plea deals result in sentences that are longer than 75% of all cases in the state. A.G. Miata says leniency leads to higher crime. According to Fairfax County police data, homicides have followed national trends and climbed in 2021. But crimes such as robberies and assaults were down 9.6% last year.